Welcome to this week's Awesome Juice video where we'll be sharing with you the comparisons of a Canon M50 Mark II and its competitor, or technically its sort of more simpler, bigger brother, the Canon 2000D. This is actually a 1300D, but it's pretty much the same camera. Now, do not go anywhere because in this video, I'm going to give you an awesome comparison of these two cameras and why there's a price difference and what the differences are between them. And hopefully it will help you decide which one you would rather have. Now, if this is your first time here, I'm Dave from TVR Creators and I make weekly content on cameras and lighting and editing and audio and so much more. If that sounds interesting to you, subscribe now. You want to get value from this video. Right, here we go. So, basically, I want to compare these two cameras and to give you absolute value, so do not go anywhere. So, the, the obvious comparison, if you, as you can maybe have to see here, and hang on, let's get it on. Um, you can't really see it, actually, but there is quite a size difference. There you go, look. So, the M50, um, this is technically the M50. There isn't much difference between this and the Mark II, but I'll get about that in a different video. So, the main comparison here, as you can see, is the size the m50 is a little bit smaller um i just thought i would start with a 1300d now just for the clarification they are very similar it's pretty much the same camera to the 2000d which is basically the newer version if you will a bit like a cat basically like a canon m50 or an m50 mark ii and um, so basically um it's a um, digital slr you can interchange the lenses as seen here look that very satisfying so you can come with it usually comes with a kit lens this one's the 18 to 55 which i believe is the same on the 2000 um, obviously you can buy different versions you can buy sets um, i will have links to this in the description so go and check it out um, but what's really cool about these sort of cameras is down the road you can you know get better lenses which can prove the photo capability of your camera it can prove your photos and just depending on what type of photos you're going for is the type of lens you can get now down the road i got myself a 300 mil i believe it's like 75 to 300 um, which is very good for taking real nice um sort of narrow shots from a distance giving really nice clear pictures I've, I've done that with family and stuff in the past and it just produces some nice photos and you know if you want to get yourself a wide angle lens get yourself some like a 15 or 18 mil or something like that and get some nice wide shots when you're out walking stuff like that so why do i like then perhaps a 1300d or more specifically the 2000D, um, it's easy to use. Uh, for the size of the camera, it is quite light. Um, it doesn't have a touch screen, um, but it does have a very easy to use and nice to look at screen. Has has all the options, but you know, for a beginner, um, it might look a bit scary, but I won't get too worried. But as you can see, it has a nice viewfinder, which is really nice if you take those cool shots from a distance and all that sort of jazz. Um, so that's really cool. You, there's a nice cat lens up. I was like the look of a lens. Um, put in the comments below, actually. Um, do you prefer to look down the viewfinder or do you prefer the screen? I personally, um, I don't know why, I, I just, I'm not a fan of squinting like, like, um, I don't know, I'm just not really good at it personally. So I just prefer the screen. And actually, something I don't think I've ever said on any of my videos, actually, a power tip here now. Um, I find a really good, if you like, prefer to use the screen to film video or take photos but you might complain of battery shortage or the battery not lasting as long because it won't obviously because you're using the screen i highly recommend when you're not using the camera it might sound obvious but you'll be surprised how many people probably don't do this um put me in the comments below if you do and that is turn off the camera so when you're not using just turn off the camera or turn off the screen simple um it has a very nice button i believe it's that button there you press that and that basically puts it from play to taking a photo but if you're not using the camera just switch it off and off you go and i find you're walking around and you don't really notice you've got it and i just think it's just a very good way to save the camera now how does this compare to the m50 um, it also has a viewfinder so again you can use the viewfinder or you can just you know look at the uh, screen on the m50 it actually has a flip screen so there you go it turns around very nice as well it turns around like that so that's very nice um, much more helpful actually um, if you're doing selfies 
that's something to bear in mind. So those of us, those of us that want to do selfies, uh, for the, but for those uh, of us that are creators, I love this camera because obviously, because that selfie capability, if you will, um, you can see what you're doing when you're recording. Just make sure, power tip, that you're looking at the lens when you're filming a video. Otherwise, it just takes away, you know, if you're looking over here all the time because you're looking at the screen, it just, see the difference? So here's like, yeah, yeah, I see you, Dave. But if I'm looking at a screen all the time, um, you know, it, 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 you just, not getting that connection with the audience as much and people feel disconnected they might leave the video because of it i'm not saying they will but some people might and um, that's something to bear in mind and just like the other camera, uh, the M50 just has an interchangeable lenses. It comes with a very good 15 to 45 mil. I have to look because I can never remember off the top of my head. But it just have a very nice kit lens. This is really good. I've heard um, different opinions on the kit lens. I personally do not care what anyone says. I love it. It's very good for doing that wide angle on the 15 when you're doing video or if you're doing those nice wide angle shots. Um, if you're doing a bit of photography out and about, you know, walk through fields and all that sort of Jazz, but you know you can get the the famous 24 28 mil uh, shot if you want to get that sort of proper photo um, like a photographer and then you can edit it later black and white or you can do it on the settings um, but it does have a touch screen which I do use and a power tip I would share um, it's really nifty actually because it actually has face recognition on the M50 you can just tap um, the screen even as you've recorded and it will auto focus so sometimes you might subconsciously think oh my face isn't quite in shot but I don't want to stop the camera because I, I you know you're thinking us craves can relate um, that you're you know liking this shot so you can quickly tap on it and you can always edit it later or if you don't like it you can retake it but now it's focused on your face and as you're moving around <laughs> it will it will focus very well on your face now as far as I'm aware, the 2000D doesn't do that. Um, <laughs> but it does have very nice uh, focus, has very good, uh, like I said, a very good lens. It does come on the camera, it's very easy to use. Um, it has loads of cool settings on the top. Uh, the camera ain't going to pick that up, which is a shame. Uh, but basically, you've got all these different settings. It does um, do a bit of video. I personally wouldn't recommend it. I would perhaps use this for. I have used it for doing B-roll um, in the past when I've been recording like other cameras and stuff. Or if you just want to mess about a bit of video, maybe for, I don't know, a family event and that sort of jazz. But I personally would say that, ooh, being brutally honest, I wouldn't recommend this for video per se. But the price difference is quite a lot. So to get one of these off the top of my head is about three four hundred but to get one of these you're talking sort of five five fifty so there is a bit of a difference between the m50 and the two two thousand um that's something to bear in mind so you know off the cuff then if you're getting value from this video smash the like button because i hope there's loads of value going on to there but you know both of these cameras have different purposes um you know as you can see here the m50 is a bit smaller um it does record in 4k and in hd um, the 2000d does record in hd but you know it's not the best video in the world but it could be fine for what you want to do if you're recording yourself you might have to stop and start or connect a phone to it or something so you can see what you're recording um i personally if you're gonna start doing that i would just stick with your phone personally but if you just want a camera um, it sounds like I'm knocking a 2000D. I'm not. It is a very good camera for what it is. So if you, you know, if you want a first camera, this was my first digital SLR. If you want a first camera and you, you're like, you know what, Dave? I just want to take pictures. I just want to do a bit of photography, that sort of jazz. Then this could be the camera for you. This is a very good camera for that. And you can always buy, like I've done. I've bought, you know, different lenses down the road. You can swap between them. And if you just want to use photography as your hobby. Be. Um, this is a nice first camera you know it's good for family events I don't know if you want to take the camera to the wedding wedding within the family if you just want to do a bit of photography that sort of jazz or maybe if you know you want something separate for doing thumbnails I mean as I've spoken about in other videos I really like using cameras for filming and taking photos it just feels more professional more fun and I'm sure you photographers and filmmakers and creators can all youtubers bloggers all of us can um, relate to that so if you just want first camera i would highly recommend the 2000d and as uh, if i haven't said already there is a link in the description for this camera which i'm really excited to share with you guys now for those of you that are creators and filmmakers and you've got a bit more money or you want to um, save a bit more 
um, then I would highly recommend this. You want to get value from this video? The, the Canon M50 takes fantastic photos, great kit, kit lens, you can obviously change the lenses. One little side note, as you probably just saw from that little bit of video, um, this has a microphone jack, so that means you can connect a microphone on the, on the top, a shotgun mic or a clip-on mic, which will improve the audio, especially when you're recording outside and all that sort of jazz. That's massively important. Um, that's something just to sort of bear in mind. And what I like about this, it has all the complex features. You can pl play around, just like you can with the other one, but you can play around with ISO and shutter speed and white balance and all that jazz. But what I also love about the M50 as a creator or filmmaker is if you want to, I've come from a background, see that camera there? And um, that was my first ever point and shoot camera back in the day, 15, 18 years ago. That is my first JVC. I don't even know what it is. It's, it was a brilliant camera back in the day. So I come from a background of mini DV tape. Shout out to them. I'm going to do a video about this that this Friday. So look out for that at the beginning of a new series that I cannot wait to start. But I'll get to that later on. Um, but what I really like about this is if you want to, this is just how I like to film. Personally, I just like to set up a camera let the camera do all the heavy heavy lifting if you will let the camera do all the hard work point shoot focus film off you go press the record button off you go that's what i love about a camera in a nice possible way i don't want to be spending an hour messing it up setting it up doing all this jazz getting all like you know uh, twitchy over it i literally just want to put it on a tripod press record and know that the video is going to be good so when i come to edit it later it makes it so much easier for me and I can just do that and I'm happy with that. Hit the like button if that sounds like absolute value. If you want to support the channel, check out our brand new merch. Oh, oh, Rudy. There it is, look. Check out our new merch. I don't know if you can see it. Here he is, look. Hooray! Look, I've got a t-shirt, I've got a mug. You can see it at the bottom of the screen. Uh, there will be a link to that. Well, there is a link to that in the description. Go and check it out if you want to support the brand, uh, the channel. Uh, buy one of our mugs or t-shirts today. Oh. Mm. And what do we want? Value! Oh, yes. So, ultimately then, I'm going to share with you now, if you want a first camera that takes really good photos, you can play around, change the lenses, all that jazz, I would recommend a 2000D without a second um, four. It's definitely a camera to check out. If you're a creator or filmmaker or getting started on YouTube or blogger, you want something a bit more, there's a bit more heavy lifting than the Canon M50 mark 2 or mark 1 is the camera for you with the selfie uh, touch screen the interchangeable lenses easy to use and the audio jack for improving your audio it does so much more than that i do have videos on that you'll probably see some cars fly up as we talk um but for filmmakers i would highly recommend the canon m50 now if you've got value from today's video, why have you not subscribed yet? Hit the subscribe button, and I'm gonna show you two end cards that are gonna give you absolute value. You know what? I hope you got value from today's video. Have an absolute great day. I'm Dave from TVR Creators. Enjoy your photography and content creation. You guys rock.